always love when our next guest stops by. Jim Gaffigan is a comedian and actor who has shown his range on stage and on screen. In the new sci-fi dramedy, Linoleum, he plays Cameron, host of a failing science TV show. Now, he begins to question his own reality when a spacecraft falls into his backyard and a guy who looks a lot like him arrives in town. Mm. Tony, did you give the Saturday morning slot to another show? Cam, Cammy, come on in. Shonda said that... Whoa. Can't Armstrong. But I, I can't believe you're even standing right now. Uh, excuse me? The crash. You crashed your car yesterday? I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw... I was... No, no, no. no. Kent just moved to town. You, you know him? He's a famous... Uh, uh... Well, I'm sorry. It's just... You two look a lot alike. You know that? Not really. No. Relax, buddy. It's a compliment. I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, good to see you. Good morning. You. Good morning. Good morning. You. This movie is terrific. And I think you know, like Dylan and I were talking about this uh, with Chanel, that it, it, after you watch it, you're still talking about mm -hmm. it because right. it's so many layers here. Is that what drew you to this? I mean, it, we were, I was sent the script uh, during the pandemic, during lockdown, so I just wanted to get out of the house, really. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I was, I thought the script was super ambitious. The, it, you know, it was trying to do so many things, and I feel like it accomplished yeah, it that. And, and it does present so many questions, and, and that's really exciting when you mm -hmm. see a movie and, and you can discuss it afterwards, and, and there's different takeaways. I've seen the movie six times, and there's different things that I kind of take away from each, mm -hmm. each viewer. So there's no right answer, so to speak. Which is yeah. exactly true. But it is good when a movie sticks with you. Yeah. Uh, as we saw in that scene, obviously you play Cameron and also Kent. What is it like playing two different characters? And, and do you have a preference for your personal appearance? Like, which, which oh. you like better? Well, you know, I prefer myself with a beard because I need to hide you oh. know, a lot of this. But I would say, you know, it's so fun as an actor playing two different characters. Mm -hmm. and um, But, you know, some of it is just finding... Um, the character within yourself. And so, you know, Kent and Cameron, you know, Kent's a little bit more confident and maybe a deeper voice. And But it's just fun kind of like doing the math of discovering a character and, and who, who he is and mm -hmm. how you're like that Is it person. hard, though, to act against yourself? I always, like, ever yeah. since the days of Patty Duke, no, like, I, I always wondered how, how that works. It's weird, you know, because there's, you know, there was a stand-in. Yeah. So I was essentially talking to myself like kind mm -hmm. of doing uh but yeah no it's it's i've done similar things to that mm -hmm. it's kind of you know i'm all about preparation so i was i you knew ready. exactly You're what ready. i was gonna think mm -hmm. well speaking of your character you know as a science tv host it kind of brings back nostalgia for a lot of people educational shows like that Did, were you fascinated or ever into science or space or any of those kind i of things? you know i mean i you know, I've done Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know, I, <laughs> that counts, uh, I guess. Yeah. But I was—I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to science. And my youngest son loves science, mm -hmm. so his enthusiasm I tried to bring to uh, the character of Cameron. But yeah, no, it was—I had to learn it and then oh, understand it, it so mm -hmm. much yeah. that there was an enthusiasm behind it. So that was—that yeah, was, was a task. It was infectious. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> And speaking of your kids, I was I was watching one scene and I wondered if it was one of your yes. kids. But two yeah. of them are actually yeah, in this. Yeah, two of my sons are in this, ah. and um, and one of them. So this is during the pandemic. My wife came to set uh, two separate days, and then on one of the days, because in the scenes, my kids at the time they were like nine and eight and ten, mm -hmm. and they had to eat things, <laughs> and of course one of them. And then on break, they went to craft service, and there's all this candy, so they threw up on the way. <laughs> now, real quick, you're back doing stand-up, the, the Dark Pale Tour. Yes. Uh, now, of course, we had our little moment together on yes. stage doing comedy. Oh, yeah. Are you looking forward to getting back out there? It's, yeah, it's so fun. I mean, it is just, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, the audience is craving live entertainment, and... Yeah, it's just been great to be out there, and, you know, I just love it. But for me, you know, I've got five kids, so it's kind of balancing, mm -hmm. you know, being a, a yes. dad and also right. following. But having an excuse Sometimes, to get yeah. away. It is nice. That's my golf. <laughs> Jim, That's thanks good. so much. Uh, the you. movie Linoleum is terrific. Thank you. It is in theaters now. Check it out. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.